Hello and welcome to K5 Championship. We've got race number three coming up here. We are going to head up for qualifying. It's another super speedway. Um, first we had Daytona, now we have Atlanta, and I have the wrong setup in, I believe. Okay, Colton, we've got five minutes to get a I do. Lap in. Okay, getting back to it. I didn't want to show the setup. Because Daniel was nice enough to send me a setup, Daniel Shell. So appreciation to him. I get to be uh, at the cool kids' table and get the good setup <laughs> uh, that Nick and Gavin usually get. Uh, I'm, I know he's uh, giving it out to a couple more people as well, I'm pretty sure. So, uh, very, very generous of him. That's a really cool of him to do. But, of course, here with qualifying, it's going to be very important. Because you got to make the race. It's not a guarantee. And um, while the Super Speedway set up here, you do have a little bit more of a chance. Given that... What am I trying to say? Given that you have the heat races, you do have... You can race your way in with the Super Speedway here. Um, that is a very scary concept that I am not going to so much be looking forward to tempting fate with, so. I'm actually going to halfway run a lap here, and then, now of course, this is the lap that's going to matter more, because we're up to speed now. But, just because I'm scared and I don't want to have a complete dud of a lap to start off with, <laughs> actually going to Kind of try that first lap. Most important is this lap here, and you can take below the red line here. So 31,650. Hopefully, that's going to be enough. Chicken flag, chicken flag. We're going to do a practice pit stop while we're out here, just one last one, although we're not up to speed anymore because I lifted off. Uh, so special pit road rules this time. You have to be on the apron before turn three here. It's to reflect the real life NASCAR, NASCAR uh, rule changes that kind of went in last minute for safety in real life. Look out for the pit speed limit. Gavin's actually going to make it. <laughs> Gavin, of course, has had terrible luck the past two attempts. And it's looking like he is probably actually going to make it in with his P4 time. So that's good. Good to see. We looks like look like we're going to make it as well. Headed straight to the feature. 30 people. Make it straight there, and right now we are holding in, holding a, uh, let's see, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12th place at the moment. Get the that back on now that I've done my blabbering. Pretty full field here again, as you would expect, from Super Speedway and uh, from a very cool league, nonetheless, so was never going to be easy to make it. Nick and his dad are extremely close on time, right next to each other. That's kind of funny. I figured I wasn't going to get the fastest time by any means, and that's totally fine, because I kind of took that first lap a little bit. You know, I was just backing it up, backing up my second lap in case I hit the apron the second lap or something and did something really bad, like tap the wall in the straightaway or something. You never know. And uh, it's not going to be too big of a deal in a super speedway setting to kind of start a little bit farther back. But I trusted that this uh, qualifying setup would have some speed, which I am going to switch back to my race setup here in just a moment. So if you don't mind me stepping away for a second, just so I'm not showing Daniel's setup and all his secrets <laughs> uh, on the video. So one moment. And all right. Race setup then. So everything's set up. 
Interesting. Nick says, at Circuit of the Americas next week, which is going to be interesting, we'll have 15-minute qualifying unlimited laps. All right. That's the end of the session. That's good to know as well. Looking forward to that one. That'll be interesting. I don't know where my pace is going to be on that one, to be honest. I think it'll be like the first road course we do, so... Lots of unknowns there. So, just on the outside looking in, we've got Dylan starting the poll of Heat 1. So these guys are not out yet, but they do have to finish podium in each of their heats. Or, you know, each individual person will have to finish top three in their heat. It's not a ladder, like the K5 championship uh, was. I think I... Did I say K5 Championship when I started this? No, this is Truck and IS. Man, I'm all over the place. I'm kind of tired today. So this is Truck and IS. Oh, boy. We're getting started here. In... Heat 1. We got... What names we got? We have... Guys like Chad in here. He's a fast racer as well as Nick King. I mean, we recognize just about everybody at this point. Um, they're not all in the same heat, but in fact, let's do this so we can see who's all in this heat. But they are going to have to race their way in. James is in this heat. He had a very nice... I believe it was qualifying for the K5 Championship in the late model recently, remember? I think he finished pretty darn well in one of the heat races. So maybe he'll uh, have himself a nice run in this heat race as well. Look at this setup. Set up this camera a little bit better so we can see. And we've got nine trucks. Only a third of them are going to make their way to the feature after this, and those who don't okay, Colton, get ready. are going to be done for the night. Green flag coming out here in just a moment. Green, 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 green. The rules for this red line, qualifying, it was free to use during the race. It is not until the very final lap. Checkered flag, you can go down there, but you have to be safe about it. That's the only rules. You know, you can't just dive into there come up and kill someone. Speaking of, we already have a wreck. And unfortunately, John, who we were following in it, what was that? I'm already seeing some weird things. So, okay. It looks like Alan, well, 04 kind of sticking his nose maybe where it doesn't belong. So we already get a crash. And then, uh, unfortunately, Dan Taylor not able to get around it. And then... Jonathan here trying to dodge it going below. They get all caught up. So not a very smooth start, unfortunately. And then these top four, there's only going to be one person out of these guys that aren't going to make it. These are ten lap heats. James was uh, called the uh, cause of that one, which makes sense. He kind of stuck his nose really where it didn't belong. I think I agree with that call. These three guys up here are the ones currently in it. Chad may be holding back, waiting for the right chance to take a run, potentially. So that's interesting. More than half the field taken out of it at this point. As you can see, no one really even close back there after getting caught in that first wreck. So we'll see how they decide to approach this. Ten laps should be plenty to sort this all out. Guys are looking a, a little bit squirrely up there. <laughs> a little bit, uh... A 
quick on the steering. Ted may be making a move to the outside, it looks like. Is he going to be able to get anything done out there, though? Doesn't look like it. He might have to hold back and really get a really big run and try to take it at just the right moment. He's got Rick up here who desperately wants to keep that spot, I guarantee you. He's not going to want to make that easy on him. Ooh, that's, that's a bit of a, an interesting time to take that right-hand turn in the in the quad hole there. It's not quite as sharp as it used to be, but it's still kind of a dangerous prospect. We're coming down to uh, the end of this thing already, though. We're going to be coming to three to go. That looking middle. I think he's really just got to back up and let that draft build up so he can do a bit of a slingshot type maneuver, as is made famous. He's alongside him now, though. Can he get some side draft, maybe, to pull him back? That's two minutes left. Two minutes. Bottom lane's going to have the draft, though. It's going to make this hard to do. He's hanging on his outside, though. And we've got lap traffic up ahead. That could get interesting. wonder who that is. Dan Taylor, kind of just sitting in the middle of the track. Okay, he's going to go below the apron. That was looking scary for a moment. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Didn't know what he was going to do. Pretty tough to be a lap... Uh, lap truck here at New Atlanta. Oh, he starts looking low, but starts almost gets below that red line, which would be a penalty if he were to take that at this moment. Well, on the final lap, though, where you can take that uh, red, below, go below that red line, Chad's still just trying to fight on the outside, but he doesn't have that draft help. Never really built up that huge amount of draft help propel him past, but can he make a move here? Coming to the checkered, he's going to take the apron, but it's not going to be enough. He's never able to set anything up. So it's going to be your three. Top three of Dylan, Nick, and Rick, who are going to make it to the feature. And those Good caught in the wreck and Chad will be eliminated. And that was race number one. Good job, Rick. You played that run perfectly at the end. So, heat race number two. It was two. hard to hold the truck straight, man. Must be windy. We got some wind out here today. Yeah, oh, wind. my goodness. 13 mile an hour wind. That happened last time we were doing this, too. The air temp is 60 Fahrenheit. That's interesting. Six Very cold minutes. temperatures. Not got much time to sort this out. Uh, relative to what we normally get. And also some strong wind. So we'll have to see how that feels. Tailwind into three and four. Yeah, I could feel the engine RPM going up. That's very interesting. That might have been why I was seeing them, you know, moving the wheel around, it looked like, but it's probably just the wind throwing them side to side. So that's interesting. Here in this race you see we've got eight trucks, one less than last time, but still some strong contenders that we've seen in previous seasons as well. Although Lance does not seem to be out there. I don't know if he knew that you can make it through in the heat races unless he lost connection, which I don't see. Yeah, it looks like he left without actually joining the heat. So he might have forgotten that super speedway racing, we get a chance to make it through in a heat race. 
So he, he's only uh, hurting himself, missing out on a chance to make the show. Making it just a little bit more likely for someone else to be to get lucky here and make it in. Watch for the lights. Who will it be? Green, green, flag, green flag. We're getting started. A slow start, but we are getting started. Another 10, 10 lap heat. Take a look back here. They're all finding their way to the bottom line. Probably a good place to be. Like almost up into the wall there. Again, could be that wind throwing guys around, making the handling a little bit strange. We do have a tiny bit of draft right here in the outside lane, and it's looking like that lower lane checking up might actually mean that this second lane's going somewhere right now. At least for Frank at the moment, and he's even going to give maybe a little bit of a bump draft there. We've got some exciting racing, because we've got two lanes. AJ now finds himself in the back. Oh, somebody sent below. It was Nick Martin. He's really going to hope he doesn't lose the strap, but that's not looking good for him. That's pretty far away. Some bad luck. He's going to have to hope that these guys are really uh, fighting hard and lifting off and slowing themselves down if he wants to catch back up. Maybe even has to hope for a wreck. You can see they're uh, racing pretty hard, so that's not out of the question. We saw it pretty early in the last heat. Plus, with two lanes working here, a little dicier. are two by two. Up front, we've got Jeff in a good position if he can hold that bottom line. He's probably got to feel pretty good, but it's no guarantee either if he gets a bunch of people around his outside, or even worse, maybe, someone on his low side, someone finding some room down there. You know things are going to get aggressive late, trying to make the show. Quick check on Nick Martin. He's catching up. So they are slowing each other down enough. What a comeback it would be if he's able to make it back up here and into the top three by the end of this race. What a turn of events. He's going to take a little bit of this momentum he has. Is he going to make it three? No, but... The 58 is going to go high and then turn down into him. So after he gets caught all the way back up, Frank moves high and then moves back down after his spot had been occupied. And so now we've got a, four, a five truck race. Two will be eliminated. Three will go on. Still trying that outside lane. Four to go here. They're looking to find ways to make moves to get them into position. You can see that fight for third place very close, side-by-side -side racing, not leaving much room. The handling looks to be a serious issue, not what you would normally expect at a super speedway. But this isn't your average super speedway either. No uh, track quite exactly like New Atlanta in the way that it races, being that it's a shorter super speedway. We've got two to go. They've got to set up that outside lane or set up a run or something has to be done in order to make those spots up. 
AJ's going to get stuck in the second lane, but they're not going to be able to get anywhere. I think those two need to work together per potentially if they want to make it pass because they only have one lap left and they don't have any momentum. The top three just need to not do anything crazy to potentially lose themselves their ticket in. But these guys being side by side, not working together, is what's going to keep them out of the race, I think. Is uh, being side by side, they're not building up any momentum right now, only slowing each other down, and that's going to leave them both out of the show. Good job, Bryce. So instead, we've got Jeff, Bryce, and Robert making their way in. I agree with Nick, this track is terrible. Wasn't always terrible. But, <laughs> regardless, it is now warm up time. Our grid is set. We will be starting P12. With Alex up there on the pole. And uh, Gavin in the race. Finally, he gets his chance. The names like Nick, Ryan, we worked with last time on the last Super Speedway. We find yeah, so. More, we find ourselves near him again. And here's the rest of your field. Cave all the way back in 22nd, the winner of the last race, but he had no trouble making his way to the front last time. On the format. This is a friendly reminder that you have to turn onto the apron going into three if you want to pit. You cannot pit from turn four. <laughs> if he's doing it right now. Everybody reminding of the new set of rules. This is a little bit loud. I'm going to turn this down. Okay. All right. Before we enter, Jeremy Freer, Shane just holding on to a starting spot That's here right. in 28. You don't have to hit uh, like right now. NASCAR pit road speed, but you do have to hit pit road speed, obviously, by the entrance and eye racing. And the tail of the tail end of the field will be Robert, having made his way in through the heat. All right. Good stuff. We are going to get. Started gridding here in about 10 seconds. Getting ready to go. Our stage breaks today. As Nick mentioned earlier, are 30 and 60, I believe. Which seems really early to me. Stage points at ends of 30 and 60, yep. Given that it's a 135 lap race, that seems pretty early, but... That is what we're doing. We've got the right setup in. Thanks again to Daniel. Let's get out there. <clears throat> this is like, I, this track just makes me nervous. This is now my least favorite track. Uh, so, I'm gonna pull flat. At least yeah. I guess auto fuel's the thing. Yeah, I don't like this track either. Three sets of tires. Not oh, going to matter okay. too much here, but maybe. 18 like, mile per hour win way, now. But it's a super speedway where tires kind of matter, so it's kind of fun, but not. Not fun at all. Three additional sets of tires for this race. Be boring. And have a good run. B12. I had a lot of fun in a league race here in the Arc. Estimating 52 laps on fuel right now. Well, I think Arc is just the best super speedway. So that's why. In the inside lane. I, I wonder how Gen 4 would be. Breaking. It'd be like hold the lane. That would be fun. Good luck, everybody has to go. Next time by, line up on the outside. Good luck. Road is closed right now. It'll be easy on the fuel. Never know if that'll come in handy. That is true. Gen 4 would be uh, yeah. lifting yeah. and very yeah. sketchy yeah. after 10. Sorry, Rick. Right. Cool. 
I might do a host just for that. Starting behind Nick's dad here on the outside. I was right, confused okay. for a second because it said Neben. <laughs> and I'm like, that's not Nick's car, not his truck. And I'm like, oh, you're right. No, it's not Nick's. It is Alan's. All right. So I'm going to try to get some position so we can hopefully be in a good spot for the stage points. But I'm not going to do anything too wild, of course. Definitely give plenty, plenty of room. Get ready, going green. I'm going to do a second gear start. Doesn't seem necessary. Should do first gear. Okay, I car is off. Be ready. Green, 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 green. We're off. All right, we'll see how aggressive people want to be this early. Oh my gosh, something just happened below us. I thought I saw some very quick movements. That was a little scary. Got my heart pumping. Seems like we're moving forward, maybe. Like that. I gotta get around Alan, though. I wanna be up front. I don't wanna be behind any potential wrecks. We're down on the bottom. That's good. Good for me. Uh, I don't like that Scott's on the apron, but that's fine too. We'll figure it out. Eighth place. We can ride for a little bit, maybe start uh, trying to get more spots later. Candling can come into play here. So maybe we'll be a little easier on it. I feel like it's not going to be that big of a deal, though. Checking up. Interesting. We might potentially be able to make it to lap 60 on fuel. That would be very curious. If we could do that, we could make it to stage two. What would be I very important. Auto fuel? We got a lane coming on the outside. Someone wants to go forward. Might grab onto the tail end of that.
These runs you can get are huge. That's unbelievable. I can't believe how much speed I just grabbed. I'm gonna tuck down here. I'm much more comfortable on the bottom. But that outside lane's really moving. There isn't some steam up there, maybe, as they kind of get congested. Uh-oh, uh-oh. We got clipped, but we're alive. Oh my goodness. Wow. I don't know how I didn't get turned there. Sorry, man, I had him locked up. I did not mean to hit you like that. Shit. I didn't do anything, just start me at the wall. <laughs> like while I was driving on the I didn't shut off. Pit road's open. Scout, you got very lucky, buddy. Open. Catch up, 77. We're gonna pit for fuel. See that coming from the mall away. Well, that's never happened before. Base cars out of four. Watch your speed. Pit lane speed limit is. Don't know who's sitting in the middle of. Pit box team. Wow. That's how many people are caught in this thing. Three, two, one. Right here. Thirty-one seconds of damage or so. That was a big one. So I'm, I'm pitting, though, because I want to make enough fuel to make it through the end of stage two. Three minutes of repairs for that. I mean, whoever I hit, I'm sorry. I had him locked up the That guy just uh, drives up into the wall. It was Ryan. Just drives up into the wall, and then... I have 34 minutes We just get net code <laughs> tapped, I think. That's it, go! So we can make it to the end of stage two now. We did not take tires. We didn't need to. 17 gave himself a penalty, I think, by speeding. Says so we gotta get around him. No idea all the people that got caught in that. Probably a significant number though. That rack failure, hard style, just to get this race over. Yeah, he's blocking the high side. Sorry, double zero. I mean, I just, I didn't mean to hit run into the back of that hard. I'm sorry, buddy. So we pit, get some fuel, and we're still only like 12th, I think. Anyone else forget to uncheck tires? I did not forget to uncheck tires. That's good. Yeah, I'm all about that move there. Um, it was going to be yeah, borderline yeah. whether you can make it through lap 60. Now we definitely can. And we're in position still to uh, get stage points, stage one here. Ryan's saying that uh, he hit the wall and the car shut off, it sounds like. That's kind of crazy. wonder what that was about. Well, we got fuel in this thing now. Don't know if everyone. Oh, still getting things sorted, so it's not, it looks like it's gonna shorten it. Let's see uh, who may have gotten caught in that thing. I should have been in it. I got a 4x from it, but. 
Thankfully, did not get sent. You sure it's not 1263? I'd really like it to be 1263. <laughs> 1263, oh no. I'll raise you 1245. Was Nick caught in that? He very well could have been, unless he was in the way back. But he's uh, around a lot of names. Yeah, lap down. He must have uh, gotten some serious damage. That's very unfortunate. Yeah, that worked. See people leaving. We're actually P10. So we're already in the stage points. I think that was a good call to come down pit road there. Not just to get... Uh, Did Nick get picked up now? Get points for uh, the stage yeah, one, but so. also two. That's why I was aggressive. Oh, I mean, we started good. behind Nick. And uh, I was hey, trying to be aggressive not uh, not only to get you, in position the wreck, the wreck for the stage, but to be in front behind. of potential wrecks. You never know if that's actually going to work out. It easily could have happened in front of us. I'm idling at like but 12.50, so not that bad. We're going to get going again. Hopefully we can hold it together. I think that might have been that wind, potentially even. I could have pushed him right up into the wall. Hey, Beck, I might be a little low here on power. We'll see. FYI. Tight carries off. Same to you, Alex. I might be a little slow. Green flag. Green flag. Green flag. Uh, we're going real slow off the start here. If no one, if uh, we don't have everyone bit bail on us here, we might have some momentum on the second lane. It's looking like we are. Some serious speed up here. got a block up there I think that looks pretty aggressive from here hard to see though I'm really concerned about some of the lines I'm seeing some of the movement so much less stable than Daytona was. There could be a lot more wrecks. Very real possibility. We've already got one. One very large wreck, too. Judging by the number of people we saw on pit road. Lots of lifting going on. That's okay. Too big of a deal. You're abandoning. I gotta go bottom line. Well, no much safer down here. No more going anywhere anymore up there. Jim, you were the one right behind me, right? Left down. Oh boy, lap car. It's okay. They're going below the apron. They're very uh, kind to do that. Outside lane's getting some momentum again. Keeping an eye on it, whether I want to go up there or not. 
It's really hard to see that apron. Yeah, happy St. Patrick's Day, I guess. It's running on St. Patrick's Day here on Friday. There might be movement up there in that second lane. You might be able to move forward, but it's also much more difficult to avoid a wreck if you're up there. I feel like if you're in the thick of it like this, because you can't dodge to the apron. So whether it's true or not, I do feel safer down here. And we are within stage point range. I'm sure my luck is going to run out eventually going for these stage points, especially at the super speedways. Oh my gosh, huge lift. Serious checkups, man. Everything about this just seems much more volatile. We got a late decision to go to the apron. That's a little scary. They look like they're almost getting sideways down there. They uh, they keep it there. We're approaching the stage. And approaching another lap car. We got lap cars everywhere. Because of that wreck. Late decision again to go low. We're leader that right now. Looks like seven back. I'm gonna do do I go to that second lane? I don't know. Man, I'm seeing guys getting sideways down on the Avery down there. It's terrifying me. really be paying attention to what's in front of me though. Our big lift offs. We might have to go to that outside lane if we want stage points because we're teetering on the edge. Nowhere to go though. We got lap cars too wide ahead. That's not comforting. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh my goodness. Track is feeling a little tighter. Maybe there is something to. Uh, the handling here. You can see the whole bottom lane drifting up almost. Not getting much room up there. Outside lane's dying, I think. I'm happy I'm down here. I feel like they're losing, uh, well, we just had a huge checkup, so there goes that. Never mind. I, f I feel like the grip is hurting them more out there, maybe, though. I think I'll keep it down here. This is the uh, stage end. We got blocking going on or something? I don't know. I can't tell. Hey, 
Oh my gosh, huge checkup. We got eighth. Eighth in the stage. I don't really want to be in this, to be honest. I'm going to back up a little bit more, but I don't know if I can get back in it if I get out of it. It seems so hard to maneuver around people. But there's another thing we might get into if we do get in it. And that would be the big one. So tough to say. I think I'll let other people back off. I'm, I'm assuming at, at least a couple people are probably going to be backing off. Oh my gosh, what is that? We can't have that, man. That's not okay. Oh my god. Oh! They're hooking! Damn, did I just net code through it or did I get damaged? I have no idea what that was. We're under caution. Pits are closed. That looked terrible. Line up single fire. Yeah, big wreck on the front. Zero, eight. I think I net coded through it. People being way too aggressive, really. Yeah, he just got in here right here, Gavin. He just missed it. That's it. Got to win it on that 33. Also be helped with hole breaks. Ooh, boy. I mean, he came down a little bit. It was also net code. Just We're no, about as lucky as you could possibly get so far. Once again, I apologize to everyone for mine. I don't know what happened, but shit, my truck just shut off. So, I tried to put it in the wall. Oh, come get some fuel, get some tires, I think, this time. Enjoy uh, the one that... Didn't lift, uh, didn't hold the brakes from the wall all the way down to the grass. That was good. Hey Rick, we got a chance. Yeah, I gotta get some repairs made here, see if I can get some RPMs. Look out for the pit speed limit. Pit bomb team. We'll need to stop again to get to the end. Five, three, two, one, right here. All right, 92, 93, not so bad. Time to get the tires though, fuel this thing up. Very lucky. That's it, go. I didn't deserve to make it through that. There was a truck in my cockpit. That code was my friend. Very, very lucky. So let's see here. We are in P5, I think, once this thing uh, sorts out. Now you got guys uh, heading down pit road and they're lapped down or more. Yeah, there's not very many people left in this race already. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing left it. Look at that. Only like 15 people on the lead lap. I mean, I don't want to make a joke at somebody else's expense, but Dr. Pepper Crunch is probably a really good flavor. Hang on, we're not going green. Not we're going green. Hang on, we're not going green. Not going we green. We all love them. Just making jokes. This package sucks.
I agree. There's a, that's a two that I should have made it through. They should reconfigure this track and uh, you know lower the banking a little bit. Maybe make the quad oval a little bit sharper. That'd be interesting. It's just an end of line penalty for putting under closed pits. Yep. I don't understand why they don't just give us a normal package for like Xfinity and trucks here. That's all. Because they wanted to. Fix Sounds like that was a net code wreck. I mean, Atlanta sucks as it is. Why? You know, we don't need a worse racetrack. Yeah, I think it's a restrictor place. Could you imagine how much fun this would be if we were in the uh, Gen 4? Yeah, Gen 4 would be interesting. I'd like to see that. Yeah, exactly. That would be so much fun. I think I might try to make my way to the back now, know, considering. Uh, maybe not. It's so hard to pass. It's so hard to set things up. I bet tires are going to come in. It'd be pretty high bank, so it would multi lane eventually. Or at least you would have to like live from here. You just carry car sucks. So the goal is in 10 years to have a normal racetrack. Is that what they're looking at? They wanted a normal racetrack. They should have just done kind of progressive banking and did. Okay. I think they went on something super speedway, but different than regular super speedway. So they're just like, hey, let's just make this thing super banked and stupid. Well, hell, do that to damn Texas. Cause anything's better than damn Texas. They should have kept Auto Club and changed Texas to a full track or something. Yeah, I agree with that. All right, starting P5. Next stage break, lap 60. Get ready, going green. I just went to Texas to damn short track. Have the full front track, do something different. It's got to be cool. Ice car is off, be ready. Between green and green, you're in fear. Just rolling off pretty, uh, pretty smooth reason to do anything else. There's a hole behind me, Jimmy. There you go. Okay. I just got a black flag for entering the closed pit, but I dropped to the end of the launch line. I don't understand. So I'm just going to run in a single file line. Check it out, check it out. For now. No real reason to do anything else, I don't think. Save some fuel, maybe. We're pretty much guaranteed it's top 15 if we well, make it to like the end. Ball, I think 17 came in front of me and I lifted and it caused chaos behind me. It was not intentional, I guess. Can someone tell me about this black flag? Like, are we clearing these or what? So we're just partial throttling it. Hopefully we all keep it single file and stop wrecking. I think I've run out of my St. Patrick's Day luck. I don't know, maybe if you get like four for each clover, maybe uh, I've got a couple more, but I don't want to test that theory. So I thought the penalty for a black flag for entering the post pit under caution was dropped in the line on the line. I did that, and why do I still have a black flag? What is this guy, like, keeps trying to accuse Gavin? I thought we established it was net code. I don't know. Did Nick say not to call people out in the race? Yeah, that, I don't know what this guy's doing. <laughs> I probably had a big race, and it wasn't intentional. I checked up, and I think it sent him into the wall. I haven't so seen it, so I don't know, I don't know. Bad. what exactly it looked like. Still not very... He's being antagonistic in the chat for no reason. I don't think that's necessary, but... We're top five, man. And we don't deserve to be. Like, we got, we've got, we been in every wreck. <laughs> Pretty much. We've been in both wrecks so far and just have gotten extremely lucky, so... I'm glad we're kind of going single file right now. Get some laps clicked out, because we've got plenty more to do. 
Only 12 cars still on this group. Man. Taking a look at who's left, we do have Cave, your current championship leader, still has uh, made his way through, has survived those wrecks. A couple points higher than me, although after that first stage, I don't think he got stage points, did he? So, we might be tired or very nearly like, oh my god, what was that? Getting kind of crazy on the quad over here, and also I had a weird like stutter. What are we doing? Holy smokes. 38's up in the wall, I think, unless he just completely backed out. That was weird. I just want to be single file right now, man. I'm seeing things that are concerning me still. If we pit under green... Got people <laughs> disabling chat. I agree with the Jonathan one, but I don't know what Reed was doing. I wasn't paying attention, though. Got some guys on the low side of the track. Looks like they're keeping it down there. I get plenty of room to this. I mean, I guess we're slowing down a whole lot. Didn't even really mean to do that. No, I'm fine right here, buddy. I'm cool. I'll let you know, though. Saw an opportunity, so I guess I'll take it. No one else is coming with me, though, so I'll I fall back back to uh, end of the line. But will do, man. Stay high with the car on the low side. Gotta be careful. I'm gonna be out here. Well, one just checked up really hard in the quad oval, and I'm like, I guess I'll just keep my foot in it. I don't know. Probably gonna regret it. Kind of hanging on just fine in the second lane by myself just because they're checking up so much. Okay. It's kind of working. If anyone joins me, we'll probably go right to the front. All right, Shane wants it. All right, here we go. Now we got something. going as fast as we thought we might though. I'm just stalled out here. Woo! Uh oh. Something just happened. I don't know if he uh, got a tap from behind he wasn't ready for. It's weird. No, I was a little too low. We're in a good spot if we can just hold here. We don't have to win the stage by any means. Oh my gosh. 
Slap traffic. They always wait until the last second, don't they? Shane gave up on me. We're not? I don't know. I think we've got is that Kane behind us. He's got a fast one. I'm going forward now. Gonna hold the line here. Felt a little bit of looseness, interestingly. Just some extra rotation, maybe not even necessarily looseness. Some extra rotation. Out of the corner. Hard to even look away to uh, check the lap counter or anything. I know we're getting close to that stage. Five to go, it looks like. At a glance. I'm not going to abandon Cave out here. I like the second lane. I think uh, we're, we're moving up here. I think we get to the run of the line from this second lane. He doesn't have enough fuel. Interesting. That's going to be really killer for that bottom lane. Sticking with Cave out here. He's someone on the apron? What's happening? Why are we three wide? We just keep doing what we're doing, we should win the stage. I think second lane is where we want to be. We have more people pitting. That shocks me. There are plenty of opportunities to get fuel to make it to the end of the stage. And the stage which is coming up this very next lap. Here it is. One more to go. Pushing harder down there. Yes, we won the stage. All right. That's where it's going. Thanks for sticking with me. Nice stage. Okay. Good stuff. Uh, I'm just going to stay out here because I don't really have a choice. Uh, I'm going to get in the 
Very, very nervous time. We're good. I can't really hear, hear him too well. I'm just happy I got paid for it in both stages. So I missed the first week. We'll go single file for a while, much safer now. <laughs> yeah, this is my first race, so uh, I'm only part time as long as I care about fun. I'm just chilling. It's weird. Nobody cried the cave. Come on now. <laughs> Do what? I'm just having fun with my head, because nobody cried the cave. We got two wins, I'm just testing the round. Yeah, Gabe's won every race so far. <laughs> it's funny how, like, Colton's still, like, only three points behind, and everybody else is going, like, five, because I didn't, I didn't get none at Daytona. I just have to back. I haven't missed stage points yet. Yeah, I was going to say, I kind of lucked into that one, really. Just set it up perfect. You know, talk about lucky. I've been technically in both wrecks so far. I got 29 gallons. There's 29 laps left. I got plenty of fuel. I got 27.1 in the period now. Uh, so serious talk here. The leaders are going to catch this uh, group here that's uh, running like a lap down. Where do you want us to go? Are we going up to the wall? Yeah. Yeah, the leaders are pretty much single file, so if you're on the wall, this would be good. Yeah, we're all single file up here in this group, so uh, you guys are about eight seconds back of us, so uh, all right, cool, we'll go to the wall. Right, that should be uh, just fine as we navigate uh, lap traffic. Another reason I'm glad we're uh, single file. That's... Dave, I'm with you on gas, by the way, on that 25.8 now. That even all right, sounds good. Colin, I know, well, Wesley told me you guys are probably Two laps to work from there to us. I got 23 laps to empty. Yeah, I have a 24 lap. I'm about 23 along with Wesley here. We all should be able to make it if we pick. I mean, how many? Have 40? We can all make it to like 40 to go. Talk about maybe. Hmm. Oh yeah, they'll give us an end um, because I think we can make about 55 laps on the thing, I think. Alright, so if you, if everybody in this like top 11, whatever you guys want to do, we can hit it. 85. I'm good with that. Okay, I'm game. Uh, I'd like to leave back there together. I'm not going to make 85, I'll probably be like... Just kidding. <laughs> you say what? If it's gonna drop back now and try to fly it in, I'll push forward for a little bit. Well, I'm gonna say let me lead or something. Like so, yeah, if you guys can make the 85 and then we'll all just take it easy getting the three and just make sure that we don't wreck. We're all inside the top ten anyway, so we got it unlocked right now. Yeah. Yeah, it's good planning. I'm gonna go walk to 90 get all my laps back. Yeah, I'm gonna stay with you. Good planning. It sounds like we're going to come in about 85. Yeah, I know. It's hard to do math while you're driving, isn't it? I have a hard time with that all the time. Yeah. I agree. 
I just, yeah, I just kind of guessed if we were able to make it to 20 or 80. I was like, oh, yeah, we got to 85. Yep, we're good. Real drivers don't have, to, don't have to do math while they're driving. They have crew chiefs for that. Now, are we going to take four? Are everybody going to take four, right? I'm kind of now to do four, so just everybody's kind of able to handle good and we'll still get a set later. Agreed. Um, um, now, just so that everybody's aware, 85 is going to put us with 50 together. So, I mean, that's going to give us, well, we should have like five laps extra, but. It's cutting a little bit close. Less than cold, and how long can you guys make it? Like big damn group poop cheek right here. I could make it to 90. Saying if you can climb a hole in Wesley, if you want to flop in behind me, we can. And you, you can make it to 90 if you do that. Yeah, I'll give him a hope. We'll put up. Come back, Wesley. There's a hole behind me, so just throw up high real quick. I'll put pulling for a while, and we'll just try to make it here. All right. Is it going to save some fuel going back there? Keep us, you two keep us updated how your fuel working. Looks like you're able to make it and pull them if you're green. Are you guys wide open in that leaf pack or are you doing a lot of lifting? I'm lifting a lot. But, but my set is also in it. Alright, so we're going to have to keep an eye on our fuel usage now. Now that we're out in uh, the clean air. I was 90% leading. Okay, you're on the radar. I mean, my front end is flat as static attached to personality, so I'm like a parachute up here. Well, damn. Well, I'm on the tires that we started on, so I'm pushing if I go full throttle in the corner. What you saying? Yeah, so, same. Yeah. Yeah, I took tires on my tire left in the low, so I'll just kind of... Just whatever, so yeah, we'll all pick the four here, so everybody can group whatever it is, on 90, have a four tire check. Alright, that uh, sounds yeah, good. Yeah, like four. <laughs> I'm not feeling too We're bad on handling, but it's... Left front, just for chain here. <laughs> Brandon, how many left? Okay. I got 15. So you go to 90. I'm at 15 also. 90's close, but uh, we can make it to 90 right now. We know Nick is sitting there watching that. These green flags stop filling up with his finger on that button, right? We're going to have to make sure we enter the pit road. Carefully. I thought this was back on track. My volume is low. Do you say these guys are taking tires? Yeah, we're going to take four here. I got that checked on, I guess. Four, I think we're, I'm not sure, but I think it fills up if we're able to take four, we're able to get all fuel and fill four, if it takes four. Well, with the way tire wear is here, it's better to take four anyway. That. Okay. And then, I mean, until we get within, I mean, really 20 to go, we can all just arc it a little bit more and take a little bit more tires to the end if you guys want. Check your auto fuel. Mine had me taking 15 gallons, so just... Make sure you're all safe. After slow cars go high, Nick says. He, of course, can't hear that we kind of been talking about it. We've already talked about that. Just done it. That's what we talked about. What, 20 How's the fuel looking up there in the lead? 
Still good to make it to 90. Alright, cool, so we got 10 more. So. There's a few left. Good. So then you're able to make it, Wesley, right? You're all good now? Yeah, I'm to to the plus now. Alright, then hold on. If you're able to make it to like complete 90, then we come down whatever, 91, or whatever, just holler out whenever you're one. Can't go around, we'll just turn left off of two, make sure we get down, and we'll be good. How much fuel are you guys putting in? How much left time was that? It's 1.7. Cool, all of it. That's why I said, watch your auto fuel. We might want to give each other a little bit more space, too. I don't know if you guys said that already, I can't hear too well, but uh, with the weird pin entry. Yeah, really, yeah. Just pull out whenever you're gonna come forward, and then everybody just kind of lift and turn left, build the back or something, and just kind of coast to the corner. Because even if you're in the back, you're not gonna really happen. It'll be that slow, so just make sure everybody don't get a penalty for it. Okay, Colton, that's good consistency. Sounds like a good plan. Gotcha. Take these group. Are you going to catch the lap down pack before you guys pit? This group is gonna go high for us, probably. Uh, maybe. You guys just take back and pop them out. Quick. Well, we're gonna get these three cars. We need to catch the big fat. The big guy's gonna get there. Car outside. Clear high. Inside. Still there. Check out boys. Clear inside. Clear inside. What the heck was that? I thought it was going to move high. <laughs> Did you hit him? Nah. Nah, I had to get on the brakes a little bit, a little bit though. Man, that's going to be, that's, that's an awkward uh, family dinner. What are you say? Well... I think, uh, did anyone you lay it? That's like a hot point of the pit road. <laughs> you have about five laps of fuel left. Alright, so we're making it to lap 90. Well, I made the mistake. I was running up in the middle of people, so I decided to go to the back, and then all of a sudden the leaders caught me, so I decided to go to the bottom, but Nick didn't think that was cool for some reason. Yeah, he had just said for everybody to go high, so I think that's why. Did anyone relay it? I didn't hear if anyone said in the voice chat if to relay his message. I don't know what thing they did. <laughs> yeah, after last week, we just every last car go high. Just pretty much. Outside. Outside, is clear. All right, well, we survived another I'm one. I'm lapped down anyway. I'm just staying out there for the ones that uh, crashed. That lap time was the 12.5. I got five on the dot right now, so that's why I pull them. I know they're probably two or three left, so on 90 or completing 90, whatever. How many laps do you guys have on your tires? I took the tires at lap 30, whatever the last caution was. Yeah, same here. Yeah, 35, and then chains on damn 89. You've got it. Yeah, I got all the laps on my tires. <laughs> I have 80 laps on my tires. I said I took tires at lap 11 on accident. Uh, for everyone in the lap down pack, I'm going to be pinning at 89 if we all want to go then. Alright, we're going to be pinning this lap, correct? Yep, we're coming down this lap, so everybody in the big group, come down this time. So get a little bit of room, we'll back off, and I'll wait for the big on, so just make sure you guys don't do nothing. 
Don't mess this up. Let's get down for a moment. Don't forget to pit this. Not a lot of people there for caution. Or at least I get my lap back. Feels good. We're running on fumes, right? In this lap, box this lap. Watch your speed limit in the pits. All right, we did it. Pit box team. I think we'll need to stop again. Five. Three. Two. One. Get it stopped. All right. 8184 were the tires. That's pretty significant for a super speedway. We're taking four as coordinated. Okay, punch it. We call their guys four with that kind of stuff too. The lead is pitting now. We only have one side to remain inside. When you if you want to let Wesley leave because you got damage, I don't know really if that'll matter much, but when we get running. I think I'm in jack, but I'm just thinking because we do have a little bit of right by damage. I have damage? Yeah. Like crashes on the right side and stuff. Uh oh, shoot. In here, I'll try to push him clear and we'll get back on the line. The problem wouldn't matter much. I mean, we were doing fine. I'm just thinking, like, for real, how we get. Yeah, I'm trying to get down behind him also just there. Keep running. Clear high. I guess I did get a bit of a piece of that first one, so that makes sense. Sit in the flat, sit in the flat. Spears. Man, it feels so much better on good tires. <laughs> I bet it does. <laughs> what was your right front? 58. Oh, that's really not that bad. Uh, I'm 4865. Alright, some really good cooperation here, coordination. Um, Knowing the situation for us, that we're all, uh, if we just keep this green, keep it clean, we've got ourselves good finishes. Worked out very well, give each other space. Good stuff. Oh my god. So we're gonna make it on fuel. We're, pl we're plenty fine. Yeah, Nick's like watching us do all this strategy, and I push Wesley out and kind of pull him, pull him in, and Nick's out. And he's like, what are they doing? Got a full on strategy, bro. Clear up, Tom. It'll be interesting to watch the video and see what he says about all of it. He's <laughs> just sitting there saying nothing. What is Brandon doing? Well, we've got to try to get to the boring car. We could race on the car while we did at the stages. Outside. Keep right. Outside, clear. Outside, clear. Outside, clear. I think Nick's just watching. He's got the trigger finger going. I can't be mad about this strategy. We're just all doing his strategy. Just driving in and sitting in. Clear high. Yeah. Reminder to lap traffic, Nick has asked to move high, please. The lead cars. I feel bad. <laughs> People are getting black flags. I know they're dropping like flies. Yeah, he just took me out. I don't know why. I was uh, up to speed. Oh, God. He, he was probably just the end the after. Caution. I uh, didn't realize how fast y'all were touching me, and I was locked open in my stand. <laughs> I don't know. I don't feel good about it, but I mean, he's you know, been so wrong. clear about it, you know? like. You just make sure, I mean, it's going to happen to me at one point in the season, but just kind of every few laps, if you get the lap car, just have relative up and make sure that you guys can have the slider on a button before it goes up and down so you got some second leader on. 
There's a lot of reasons why I use right and left for that. I just gave it to the venue to let food. Okay, three bits, that's fine. I said this a lap after everyone because I need to go over actually going to make it clean the pit road and I screwed myself. We are all pretty conservative. I don't know how many of us kind of got knocked out from the air, but... Can we do There's some people? Of us, I can't of hear, man. Seven, so. Yeah, you want from 12 to 7. Yeah, well, I almost rear-ended Wesley, and I think Jeremy tapped me. He's not hard enough to do anything, but without bottleneck on entry. Heads up here, Dylan. They're coming fast behind us. I'm going to go high. Payne, did you say I tapped you? Yeah, I think it was. Once you're the one right behind me, it was a little itty-bitty tap. Hey, Bryce, the Tyler, give me a little lift in the tow here. I'm just swerving a lot. Outside, clear. How many left slot trucks do you guys have? Outside. Outside. Yeah, we got 35 left, now 34. Once we cross the line. I'm just trying to stop with as many positions as I can and I'll get off the track. I tell you, that's why I did the red pro right there. I need to make like a fork I can't hear him, man. I really get a little my engine noise or something. Or up the chat volume. But uh, super speedway is just super speedway. Uh, we had some really interesting strategy and coordination. That was pretty cool. But at the end of the day, we're still basically just flat footing around the bottom, which is super speedway racing. Not even full throttle, because I'm in the draft. Kind of testing, seeing uh, the run. You know, kind of backing off, seeing how long it would take me to get up to them. Might be uh, useful information for later. I would like to get a win. Okay, you can't have all of them, right? <laughs> sure, Wesley's not going to be too interested in letting me buy, but if we can get a second lane going, I'm pretty happy with uh, where I am. I feel like Cabe uh, would probably follow me. Of course, he's going to try to make a move of his own at some point. I think if we just start trying to get a second lane late in this race, I'm sure you'd probably go for it. Oh, Alan didn't even know we were coming, I guess. wonder if he uses the relative down here. It kind of blows my mind that some people don't use the relative. Like, I would never feel comfortable driving without that being the default screen up. Like, I always have to go back and have that on there, because you just never know what's going to be around the bend. Like, you see someone dropping hard, you know, maybe someone's slow or something around the corner. There's so much useful information from there. And I see some people that run it, like, that race without it on, and it just blows my mind. Just uh, getting the rest of the laps here. I don't really see what that draft is going to do for Wesley, but <laughs> if he wants to go get it, he can. 
When do we make our move? Three to go, maybe? I'm sure uh, we could very well have other people make moves before us. We just had a bug at the screen right here. <laughs> Gross, not gonna look at that the rest of the race. Unbelievable. I'm just gonna pull over, I'm sick of this. I'm just kidding. Hey, what's up, you don't, baby? Not a boy. Patrick's saying we're all doing this, right? You are? Well, I'm all off, so I can't drink, and I have to be home, so here I am. Yeah, man, I'm old, too. It's fine. And I got a laundry list of medications I got to take for blood pressure and other shit, so here I am. Who's <laughs> Yeah, that shit don't make good with booze. Yeah, I'd love to be drinking too, but Kimo says no. I mean, I'm, I'm not having a few beers, but like, you know, I had a bad spell during COVID where I was drinking a half a bottle of bourbon a day. Oh my goodness, what's that? Clear high. I feel like he might have to full throttle it too. Maybe he's hurting his tires a little bit more where we can lift off. I'm saying high left. Make sure you go higher so you get too deep. Outside. Outside. Yeah, right. They sorted it out. Okay, we're good. Fifteen more GQs and I'm in the lead. Clear hot. Oh my gosh, super speedway racing is boring. Oh dear God, about got the gap. The next car's the leader. Oh, where's the blinking now? Ooh. That was scary. Hey, buck, buck, a little bit. Well, I mean, I see him in the mirror. I don't think barely did him in my life. Something happened back there. Maybe just the uh, group of cars. Heading 120. Wait. You say heading 120? You messing with us, Leslie? Nah, I'm just kidding. Yeah, it's pretty good. Well, you, you can if you want, I mean. <laughs> yeah, hell. Everybody can if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, it ain't going to be like this with two to go, but I control whoever wins this race. So... Don't we let Cade win, that'll be three in a row. Oh, count my face. Uh-oh, Joe's ready to go. Are you in third, Cade? Yeah, right now. I ain't getting to lucky to another one, I promise you that. I got tight and bad with this, because all of a sudden he's caught me up there. I think things are going to get a little more dicey than maybe he expects. Uh, we could have a second lane form up for sure. I'm so sorry, yeah. I missed just that. I'm ready. I didn't see you. Go, go ahead and wreck the Tyler and I'm going to party.
Just know there's going to be more people in there. Pretty good day at the racetrack for me so far, though. Using up all my luck. Three of my four relief clover have been used up. First one in the first wreck, second in the second wreck, third one dodging Nick's dad. Do we have one more clover to work with here? Feel this thing getting a little looser. Playing no games back there. I see you. Doing back there. <laughs> I can't see. I wish they would establish a lane much earlier. It's really scaring me. Are you guys at 10 to go yet? Coming to 15 to go right now. Wait, you should be at 20 to go. Now we're a couple laps back. Alright, I'm high here guys, I'm high. I as a kite. Yeah, I'm five laps back and I'm at 116, so that's been my job. Bad map. Clear on. Yep. <laughs> I just want to get off the track. That's the only reason I want to know when they're 10 to go. We're at 122 right now. Um, it's looking okay. Right, my map is yeah, I thought you were about 15 to go. Okay. You're at 13. Good. Sorry. Okay, I just want to bring this home safely. I don't have anything to say, obviously. It's been really quiet, because this is... I feel like a duck. Yeah. Are you sitting? <laughs> He's sitting as a sitting duck. <laughs> We headed north for the winter or whatever. It's south, isn't it? South for the winter. I don't know the birds. <laughs> uh, we'll be taking a left turn up here. And then we're a little bit. We'll take another left turn. And if you guys want to slice it up, we'll turn right for a little bit. Larry Mack said we were being cautious and five to go. <laughs> I would love a caution. Please, no. Sorry, no call on opening. I think Wesley's getting tight. Eight I think Cade might be setting up a run, too. Hey, 38, why are you trying to raise the leader? Oh, we've got a run on the outside. I didn't see it coming. Well, shoot. Moving now. Alright, those are out. Gotta pay attention again.
mean, we're still fine here. They're not gonna. They're not getting enough speed on that second lane. Still got a little bit of time. Yeah, I'm not pitting, but I won't run you over. So that's cool. Just gonna slow down. I just got a big gust of wind or something because that really felt tight for a second. I had not felt that yet. One's pinching hard. Never mind. I guess I won't pit at this one. Oh my gosh. That was scary. Wesley, what are we doing? That was a huge checkup. Oh my god. If we can get in front of this uh, second lane, I might consider it. I don't know. Is that what I want? It's too early. It's too early. Gotta go, we gotta go. Bottom lane does not have enough momentum right now. Oh, they're touching behind. Sorry, Scott. That was my bad. We're going. We're back to our old friend, the outside lane. It was working earlier for the stage win. Come on, push me. No push? At all? Do we at least... Well, we got third. Good ride. Yeah, I messed up by pitting. Or not pitting on that caution. <sighs> well, that move cost us second, but... That's fine. You got there, Wesley. I wasn't gonna leave you. I saw uh, Colton go up. I'm like, damn it! If I can beat him to the win, or if I can beat him to the line. But I wanted to try something at least, but it really didn't get anywhere. Good race though. That was a lot of fun, at least with the strategy. Yeah, I mean, at least it wasn't boring. We all just rode and nobody talked. Like it actually was fun with everybody. <laughs> Good coordination. That was a that was a pretty fun, unique experience. I enjoyed that. I'm like, that was the first time I really had a lot of fun with the Super Speedway, and it, like, 
was cool because everybody was talking, hanging out, doing strategy and stuff. Yeah. Just needed one caution. Ugh. Yeah, I was waiting for that too. Well, I, I, I'm happy I tried something oh, at least. Would have been snoozy just to sit in the inside I'm line. To you guys to do something with 20 to go. <laughs> Yeah, I was hoping you guys would direct there. Over the tires. 85, 88. So still in the right front. It was I was wondering if it was the right rear. Just gonna at least let Nick know that there was uh, something that good that came out of it. <laughs> but yeah, the racing itself pretty terrible. Good job, there, Wesley. Get around there, boys. That was fun. Yeah, good race, man. So Wesley gets the win. Good win, man. Make sure I say that. Thanks. And, uh, and just FYI yeah. to everyone, that was my second race in three weeks. <laughs> Pretty darn good for a second race in three weeks. Humble so we get a uh, we get a nice finish <laughs> with a P3. We'll go ahead and see these wrecks that I somehow lucked out on. All right, we'll take a look at, at what happened. Whoa! Into the wall on lap one for the 90. Beating the wall just a tiny bit. Lap 10. This is where Ryan gets the wall, I think. Yeah. And then lots of people. Lots, lots of trucks. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. It was for, but <laughs> mistype. Yeah, just everyone on top of each other, all down on the apron. Oh, gosh. I mean, I saw a ton of people on pit road, but I didn't see how they got there. We'll have to see this from a couple angles. This guy's trying to get it slowed down and just the whole track is blocked. Oh my goodness. I mean, it's just people so far back too, getting caught in it. They just keep coming. It's a parking lot. That really sucks. I know Nick Neven got in it. Where did he, where was he in all that? He's 95. Or did he get damaged later? He might have gotten in like the second wreck or something. He's down there, down there. Oh. It's just, there's nowhere. There was nowhere to go at all. He's down here, going slow. But it just, the track, the wreck moves down the track right in front of him. And that, even that bit of damage right there, that's not good. That's right on the front end of the thing. That's bad damage. 
Thanks. I think that's what we got a lot of. Wow. Oh. Yeah, I got very lucky that second wreck. We'll see that one too. Just seeing a couple of views of this one. Man. This guy's going full throttle into it almost, even. Jeremy. I think he played it well. Yeah, he just put me, brought it to a stop. What did I do? I didn't do anything. Hope I'm not blinking or anything. Then up in the wall, that was interesting. Oh, that was horrible net code. That's what they were talking about. This is the second wreck. Gavin, more bad luck. He actually made the race this time. Look how bad that net code was. I mean, I don't know. I don't really know why the 54 was necessarily turning down right there, but just terrible net code. You can see they're like, I can fit my mouse cursor in between it. <laughs> Yeah, there was really no movement to be made. I tried to raise and lost a spot, essentially. That's what happened there. <laughs> but uh, that sucks for Gavin. I mean, I guess the thing is, like, if you're going to get wrecked out, get wrecked out pretty early, and that's pretty early, I guess. 100 laps short, but I'm sure he would rather not wreck out at all. Terrible. And then look how lucky I was. I shouldn't have made it through that. I should not have made it through that. I honestly feel guilty for making it through that. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> I think I just phase right through him, like butter. Knife through butter. But, you know, there's the uh, St. Patrick's Day luck. Gavin certainly didn't get much of that, or anybody that did get caught in a wreck. Let's see what the rest of the wreck ended up looking like. Another pretty decent one. We got people coming in. Not as big as the first one, but I mean, there weren't as many people left on the track at that point. So that was your second wreck. Second one I got away with. What happened there? That was weird. So try to keep in. It kind of just runs out of the back of them. Huh. Did he think maybe he was going below the apron? Maybe he just misjudged it? I'm not sure. I 
Uh, maybe we misjudged it, I guess. It was barely anything. <laughs> I mean, prediction code made it worse. Like, that should have been a tiny tap, and it sends him, like, into the wall doing a wheelie. It's a little dramatic. No caution for that, I don't think, was there? So. Whoa. Close racing there. Up in the front. Yeah, the 38 did get the wall. I thought he did. Wasn't entirely sure, though. He loses a ton of spots. Twenty-eight up into the wall. They look like they're down on power. So we had lots of clean racing after that. After those first two cautions, obviously we went through to the end. So we're going to be skipping ahead quite a bit here, I believe, in the incidents. But. Gotta feel pretty darn good about how my uh, night went. First stage, I got, I think it was P8, which is points. Any points at all, I gotta be happy with. We had a couple of people touching bumpers on pit entry. We tried to coordinate it, so, uh, excuse me, so that way we're entering giving space, but it's so hard to do, you're always going to get a little bit of accordion, I think. To some degree. But no wrecks or anything, which is great. You're seeing that for no reason, I assume. We got the leaders coming by. Some lap trucks getting in a wall, but better the wall into the rather than the, the other trucks I guess some more wall I think some guys were getting tight for sure a bit of a bit of a block there maybe kind of ends up with Jeremy in the wall I'm not sure if that was a block or maybe just trying to join that train, or I'm not sure what that really was. Looks like Jim maybe gonna get some wall. Looks like me trying to roll old Atlanta. Sorry, excuse me, I'm really tired. Some speedways are really sleepy. And then we had a little bit of prediction code contact right there. We're racing real close, but we kept it clean, which is good stuff. Ooh, Jim blows a motor. Just right at the end there. Oh, wow. Someone getting loose. Jeremy got loose. That's crazy. Maybe related to... The damage he got. I don't know how you get loose. I mean, I felt it a little bit, I guess, but definitely not enough that it would actually turn on me like that. That's really interesting. You can see... We're about two to go. Wow, they really got into each other there. He just kind of hits the apron a little bit, and the one was pinching pretty hard, but late in the race, that's kind of understandable. And uh, that was it. Wesley wins the race. I want to see what my move looked like. I just wanted to make sure I tried something, because I didn't want to just sit in line and finish second without trying, right? So, you know, coming to the white flag, I'm clear up high, so I get a little bit of a run. I'm on his outside. Right now, I'm, I have the edge on him, but you can see they got the shorter way around. I led lap 134, I think. Maybe not. It was really close. I really needed the one to get on my bumper a little bit more. I guess he tries, but it's never really 
gets to me like Cade got to uh, Wesley up there. And then he's nowhere near me in the corner. I'm not sure what happened. And uh, wow, really close for a second, but we get P3 by uh, three tens, hundred thousandths of a second. It's very, very close. But that's fine. Second, third. Either way, that's just fine. It's been really interesting to see the points. We won't be able to take a look at them quite yet, but uh, I'll talk about it in my description as I think uh, will be the way to do it here in Truck and IS. But that'll do it here. We get about P8, Stage 1. We won Stage 2, which will bring us our first playoff points. Could be very useful once the playoffs start later in the season, get me a bit of a head start. Very good stuff. And we will finish P3 in the uh, in the overall event. Very good. So great start to the truck in IS for us. We've made it past some uh, very difficult super speedways too. And by difficult, I mean luck based, <laughs> which means it's difficult to do anything about it. Do anything about uh, finishing up front so very happy about that next week we'll go to coda no idea what that's going to look like <laughs> so we'll be looking forward to that i guess but for now i will say goodbye thank you for watching i appreciate you and i will see you next time have a good one